let's now make this exact same functionality for our iOS application. So let's go ahead and navigate now to the main.storyboard file that we have on our iOS project. And while you load, what we are going to do is search for a table view controller, which we are going to add to our project. And we're going to make this new view controller the first one to be navigated to just while we add the rest of the functionality. So we're going to add this new table view controller inside here and to make this the first one that the application starts with, let's just move this little flag to that one, this table view. And to create a class for this one, we have to select this from the bar at the bottom and set the class to something like books, table, view, controller. The table view controller is created and we have it right here. So we can start working on adding new elements to this list. So the first thing that I'm going to do is select the cell that is in here and I'm going to change its style to be subtitle. So I have two texts that I can set in here. One is going to be for the title of the book and one for the author of the book. And I'm also so going to set an identifier down here. So this is going to be book cell. I'm going to copy this identifier because I'm going to use it and I'm going to save the changes. Back in the books table view controller, I have to override a couple of elements. So I'm going to override the get cell method. And I'm also going to override the number of rows in section. So rows in section I have in here and I'm going to override it. Next, I am going to be using a list. Uh, let me just uh, a list of book. So to be able to use this, I have to add a couple of references, a couple of using statements. Uh, the first one is going to be using system dot collections dot generic. And the second one is going to be using SQLite, uh, the name of my project classes to be able to use book. I'm going to name this box. Uh, I'm also going to override a couple of other methods. The first one is going to be the view did load. So inside of this, we can initialize the book variable. So this is going to be equal to a new list of books. I keep making that mistake. And I'm going to override also the view will appear. Actually, the view did appear, which is called every time the view appears. And it's a good idea for us to retrieve all of the books inside of here. So automatically, every time the user navigates back to this view, the books are reloaded. So this is going to be equal to book, uh, actually books, let, let, let me just change this. This is supposed to be books and books is going to be equal to and in here we're going to use the database helper and we're going to read and we're going to be needing the database pad, of course, which we can get from here, from the view controller, we can copy it and paste it right before reading from the database. And the read is going to be requesting the DB path and we're going to be needing to add uh, reference to using dot system dot IO. So finally, we have to set that uh, the table view, it's going to reload its data, reload data. And we have to use the data that is now in the books list to populate the cells and to return the amount of rows that is needed. So in here, I'm just going to return books, um, books dot count like this. And in here I am going to be defining a new cell that is going to be equal to table view dot the reusable cell. I'm going to write the identifier, which is book cell. And I'm going to pass the index pad, which is received in this method. Let me just make sure that that is indeed the, the identifier. So I'm going to launch the storyboard, uh, this, the main storyboard to make sure of that. And while that one loads, I will continue by getting the data, which is going to be equal to books in the position of the index path 
the row. So we've done this before. And uh, now that we have the data, we can go to cell dot text label dot text and assign it to data dot name, which is the name of the book. And we can also set the the subtitle, which is actually uh, detail text label dot text equals to data dot author. And finally, we are going to be returning this cell uh, by just writing its name. And this is pretty much everything that we need. So let me just change the default project to be the iOS project. Let's just run this on the simulator, my iPhone 5 simulator that I have in here. And I should have at least one element. I think I didn't add more elements to the database, but I should have at least one element, which is the start with Y button. And there it goes, it's going to be launched. And we have the application in here, it's going to be loaded. And as soon as we see a list, we should be able to see one element at least inside of it. So here it is, we can see that in fact, we have one element inside of the list. And so now we have been able to write to a database, read from it, a SQLite database using the PCL on both iOS and Android. In the next couple of videos, we're going to complete the functionality of this application by navigating to that ad page in both iOS and Android.